Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here for you guys some more MLB 16 the show Phillies franchise here in episode 2 We are going to be playing the home opener here at Citizens Bank Park We have came out of that slump in the first game. We are 4-2 and two, and I am actually in um, Real time. I'm actually just I just got done the month of April, so I'm in May now So basically what I'm going to be doing is uploading one or two episodes per month and instead of, because uh, last year, what I did was I played, like, just the whole season and that was it. But I plan on making this um, a little bit more than one season. I hope to do at least three seasons uh, for this series. So hopefully, that's what I'm hoping for. But uh, we'll have to see. No promises yet. But I have been enjoying it. Uh, my team is uh, actually looking pretty promising, I'm not going to lie. It looks like we might be making a good playoff run. Especially with guys like Michael Franco right there. Uh, Chooch is still putting on a good show. He's batting over 300. Oduble Herrera is probably one of my best players. Him and Franco. And uh, the whole pitching staff. There's not one bad guy in my uh, pitching staff so far. But um, uh, you guys will see this turned out to be a very good game. Very close. So I hope you guys will enjoy. But um, and definitely go check out the... Uh, the fan poll that will be in the description below. Not sure what it is going to be yet, but um, definitely go check it out and vote. I apologize because in the last episode I did put it out late, so uh, I apologize for that. I actually totally forgot to, but hopefully I won't forget this time. Hopefully it'll be there by the time this video goes out. But um, but yeah, I mean we have just so much talent on this team to look at, except. Uh, Helixson got off to a rocky start here in the first inning. And also what I'm going to be doing with editing, I'm not going to have the last pitch of every at-bat. Instead, more interesting just to speed up the episodes so they're not that long. I kind of want to keep them around the 10-minute mark. but um, So yeah, just to uh, speed things up a bit and um, so it's not that boring. But uh, we have a very good lineup, as you guys can see. Uh, Howard, I can't really find anyone to trade for him. The guys that I could get, I could get guys like uh, Carl Crawford. He was an option, but the thing is, I'm trying to free up that um, that uh, salary cap. I gotta get more uh, more of a uh, budget, and um, even if I do trade him for someone like Crawford, it's not going to free it up by much. So I'm like, you know what? I might as well keep him. I need a first base man. But if I did trade him, I would probably put Ruff at a uh, first base and move someone else to. Um, over to left field since that's where I have rough at the moment but in this episode he did play right field um, a guy that I'm still not too sure about is Tyler Goodell um, I really wanted him to end up being promising he's a very young player I think he's 21 22 he's somewhere around there 23 at the oldest I believe but um, I really hope that he ends up being a uh, a good player the thing is he he expects to be a start uh, not a start, a uh, a star. So um, I did have him as a starter, but that wasn't good enough for him because you know now there's the whole um, what do you call it? The whole uh, player morale for uh, uh, franchise and road to the show. So he is uh, he is unhappy. His overall is like 58, 57. So I don't want to play him. I rather play someone like Aaron Altair, uh over in left field. So or uh, right field, excuse me. So that's what I am doing right now but the outfield is probably the um the more iffy part of this team except for Herrera and then in left field I do have Darren Ruff who is ac actually doing very well uh one thing that I wouldn't be surprised to happen is uh if every guy ended up uh making the all-star team and Hernandez puts this one over the wall to uh, put the Phillies in this game now we are officially on the board after that Cesar Hernandez Solo shot. He has definitely been a um, a big part of this team. He's been slumping a little bit, but he's getting back into it uh, in real time. I'm talking, um, not real life, just real time for franchise. Um, but uh, yeah, also I did mention this in the last episode, but all the straw polls in the description are going to be based on my franchise mode, not the Phillies in real life. It's all going to be uh, just the Phillies franchise. But um. So yeah, we have Ruff and Left, who, uh, I mean, he's like 27, 28, I think is his age, it's one of those. 
So I'm not sure what the deal is going to be with him. Herrera almost made it back-to-back -back home runs, but it was caught in front of the track by Upton. But um, and then also uh, we have in right field Alt Hair at the moment. I did have Goodell, but I am uh, using uh, Alt Hair uh, for now, and he has been doing okay. He's not the best, but he's decent. Um, and then also, look at this, the second double play we have turned on a bunt. Same pitcher, too. He doesn't have uh, a lot of speed. Can't get that bunt down. That was pretty much the same exact bunt. Uh, I can tell you guys, you, this is going to be the last year that you will be seeing the, uh, the last two remaining 08 World Series champions on the team. I'm not going to re-sign Ruiz, and I'm not going to re-sign Howard. Even though Ruiz is doing very well this season, um... Howard's been doing okay, not the best. He does have a 10-game hitting streak at the moment, somehow. I don't know how, but he does. So, But that is going to be it for both of those uh, after this season. And Ruff ends up uh, dropping this one. Not sure what happened there. But, um, yeah, not a good play by uh, Darren Ruff out there in right field. That could end up being... Uh, that could potentially be dangerous for this game. But Hellickson has hit a couple um, rough spots this uh this game, not going to lie, and this inning was not a good inning for him at all. But uh, I, I can't remember who was that. Oh, it's Ashy in left. He's actually going to get the uh, runner out at second after throwing it to the cutoff man. So we got lucky there. But uh, Blanco has not been a good fielder for me. He's made at least four or five errors so far this season. I think he made like two in one game. I've not been a fan of him in the field. But batting, he's decent. He's okay. He can sometimes get the job done for me. Um, you know, he does get a lot of uh, extra base hits, which I like. But um, probably my favorite guy on this team that I have confidence with is uh, Odubel Herrera. But um, two things that I wanted to ask you guys. Well, one thing was um, probably for the next couple episodes I'm going to be doing live commentary instead. Um, because uh, it will save me time for editing. I have so much things that I have to edit and uh, get done. So live commentary would definitely make it a lot easier because I do work, I do go to school, and even in the summer I will be taking one or two online classes, which will be a bit easier for me since I don't have to go anywhere. I can just stay home. I just got to uh, stay on top of things and not procrastinate since it's very easy to with online classes. So uh, those of you who are in college, um, if you do take online classes, got to make sure you stay on top of it. This is the first time I've ever taken an online class, so I'm kind of nervous. I don't know how hard it is. But um, that's why I'm only taking one or two. That way, if I do end up doing bad, it won't really be that bad, except for uh, it'll just be a waste of money. But um, since I didn't plan to take summer uh, classes um, at all, so that's that. And also, um, now we have uh, Gomez in the game. Is this Gomez? Oh, no, it's Hernandez. That's right. I forgot I put Hernandez in. Uh, but Gomez also has been doing very well on the bench for me. But uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about was uh, how would you guys like it if I did a like more historic ball game? Because I really want to play a game at the Polo Grounds. I'm not going to lie, I have played some games at the Polo Grounds in franchise. Um, and it's a lot of fun. If you hit it into the gap, it's most likely going to be a triple or an inside the park home run. That's what I really like. And you know it's even, but uh, I did uh, play... A game against the Mets, and we actually won 11 to 12. Pitching was not good that game um, on either side. I forget who pitched for us. I think it was Morton, I think was on the mound. But honestly, every guy in our rotation has ended up doing good. Except The worst is probably Nola, but he still has an ERA in the threes, I believe. And Franco is going to end up driving in a run here. So he is going to give the Phillies the lead, and that is going to be the only offense that they get this inning. So we are going to go to the top of the ninth um, after this replay. I forgot I included the replay. But, yeah, off the bench, since I didn't want to sit him down, get uh, Blanco to play. He has definitely been on fire this year. And he doesn't have much power in the game. But um, he's been getting it done for me. So Solarte is going to strike out. Uh, uh, by Gomez and then this one's going to be hit to center but Herrera is going to dive and it's going to hit off his arm I believe it was so he is going to get in there at second base with a double no error on the play since it was a dive it was a tough catch I don't know if he if I had a dive for it but um, hopefully it won't end up hurting um, 
the uh, hopefully it won't blow the lead and hopefully Gomez won't get a blown save but this is going to be a strikeout and Ruiz will throw it to Howard to get the out so two outs now for the Phillies Gomez looking to get the save as Hernandez would get credit for the win this is going to be popped up for Herrera he won't have to die for it and he is going to make the catch Phillies now 5-2 and two on the season. I think this is going to be a great year. The record is definitely a lot better now. You guys will see in the next episode. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Not sure what the straw poll is going to be. Might have to do with the polo games. Or the polo games. The polo ground idea I had. But um, I'm not sure yet. Uh, still thinking about it. But we have a very promising team. Uh, comment any suggestions you have. Guys I should trade. Guys I should keep. Guys I should call up. And, um, yeah, I love hearing uh, what you guys have to say when it comes to franchise mode and also be a GM for uh, NHL. I love to hear your ideas and suggestions. Um, and I do take them sometimes. If I do like them, I will take them. But um, right now I want to free up as much cap space as I can, especially since I have Harrison in single A, and he's like a 64 or 65 overall, and he we're paying him like $10 million, $11 million. So... That kind of sucks because he's not good enough to call up. So I don't know what I'm going to do with him. I want to trade him, but I don't think anyone wants him. And I don't want to release him. So not sure what I'm going to do there. But um, Hernandez ended up getting player of the game. Three for four, two runs, a homer, and an RBI. Um, but that is going to do it for this episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I forgot to set a like goal. So let's just see if we can hit 20 likes this episode. I'll keep it small since I forgot to... Uh, to uh, set it this episode but again that is going to do it i hope you guys enjoyed next episode will be a live commentary in the month of may and like i said i'll probably do one or two episodes per month and then eventually we will be in the playoffs i do hope to live stream this eventually as well or once in a while but uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and i will see you guys as always in the next episode peace